Gaping Pig, uh, a character we don't often see, but was extremely strong in an early Ultimate meta. Uh, people just did not know how to deal with him. Uh, but since then, we haven't had too much representation for Olimar in general. Uh, kind of a niche character at this point, but uh, definitely a matchup check for a lot of people if you don't know how to work around uh, Olimar, uh, Pikmin top especially, and all that damage accumulation. Uh, a lot of characters also struggle with uh, just being able to hit the Pikmin off of them, because you need a hitbox that will hit where the Pikmin is latched onto you. Right, but we will see the foreign me brawler coming out to play again. Uh, this should be a pretty interesting uh, matchup wise when it comes to damage because if me brawler gets in, they can get a pretty. Uh, they should be able to get some pretty high damage combos, but at the same time, the zoning that Olimar creates uh, definitely can keep me brawler out. And if uh, Ford isn't very diligent about getting those Pikmin off of him, uh, Pikmin just can do so much damage so quickly. Um, just being used as a projectile, but also it's being latched onto like we're seeing now. Uh, hasn't even touched Ford yet, but Ford that 17% just from that one red Pikmin getting latched on. Uh, but this advantage shape Ford already looking pretty solid. Uh, definitely, if you can keep this pace up, uh, things will definitely look towards Ford's advantage. But uh, just like we're seeing so far, Takar playing a very good zoning game, kind of just creating space and pressure with like a throwing and using all these Pikmin, and especially with smash attacks too. Look at this zone that Takar is just kind of holding on to. Uh, nice little down tilt up air into Thrupper too. That was a really, very really clean from Uh Definitely worth the damage. We're not going to take a stock just yet. I did have to re remind myself earlier today as to what Olimar's weight is. It, it's weird in weird zoning characters like this. I have to remind myself like, wait, Olimar's actually pretty light. Like, oh geez, hard call with the up smash too. Uh, Takar uh, actually ending up whiffing the the whistle, assuming that Ford is going to come after him with an aerial. But uh, the, the zone at this point, <laughs> yes, Olimar is as light as Sephiroth, but I always had to think about, about that in reverse because I'm always like, wait, all, uh, Sephiroth is as, is as light as Olimar? Like, what? All right, but up smash shadow shield is going to work out for Jakar there to get that first stock off. It, it really just keeps, seems to come down to uh, Jakar getting the stocks off. The damage is definitely there, but uh, ceiling stocks out. It seems like the... the uh, one of the things that Takara struggles with, but Ford too has been learning, learning his kill confirms with <laughs> uh, with me brawler. Uh, overall, his neutral obviously we're looking at is pretty strong when he gets to uh, finding his openings and getting these like mid percent combos. But uh, pretty interesting that Olimar can just whistle through Thrupper. I don't know if that kind of shuts down this uh, that kill option for me brawler. But geez, yeah, catching the landing there with the aerial or with the smash attack. And now having the stock lead, uh, Takara looking very good. I know he's been trading games with uh, some of the other players who were rounded on pulls earlier too, so he's having a solid day of uh, having some very competitive sets, but once again, doing a good job to avoid Thrupper. And okay, that time though, out of shield working out for Ford there. Uh, Thrupper is frame three, so it works great out of shield against uh, so many <laughs> characters' options, even if uh, a character's options are predominantly safe on shield against most characters, but these three, the frame three uh, options out of shield just do so well. Uh, like we see, obviously, like Game & Watch use up the out of shield uh, frame three as well, but advantage state board kind of pushing the pressure now, and this last stock situation definitely creating some tension between these two, looking at this best of five. We have a lot of, oh, but on the mash, pressing pause, but okay, both kind of just shrugging it off. Uh, this is round robin pools too, so nothing too heavy to worry about but I think in final bracket I would have stepped in there unless both players kind of a gentleman to it but 
And at this point, ledge trap for forward. That active neutral air is definitely something not to be trifled with. And this is where things get interesting because we have blue Pikmin out for Takar. The back here is not going to seal it just yet. High recovery for Takar. But yeah, Ford needs to be very wary of that blue Pikmin because once he gets a high enough percent, Almar is has the option for kill throw and that will take it, just like we were talking about. That's the the pressure situation that Olimar can create by just throwing all those Pikmin at you, conditioning shield, and then high percent situations like that. Once they've gotten you uh, a high enough percent, uh, they have the option now to punish shield. Yeah, I thought we had pause turned off. Can you guys go back to the rule set and go to tourney? No, yeah, I'm turning off. Yeah, because there's there's a rule set that already has pause turned off, but uh, there, yeah, there it is. Go to tourney. Yeah, yeah. it was already online. I'd say that. Yeah, is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, but game two, I'm curious to see if we'll get a character swap from forward, but I mean, me probably did totally fine there. It was just, I think, more so learning how to work around uh, all of our high pressure situations when it comes to like. Being at high percent, being wary of shielding too much, being wary of getting smash attack. And we're going with Lucina now. Okay, so it's kind of just zoning around Olimar at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that the matchup's going to be looking like. Because uh, really, Olimar can't use too much aerials. You're going to get outspaced from Lucina aerials. Forward air neutral air? Okay. Yeah, strong lead uh, start here for Ford, but kind of just obviously an adjustment that Takara's gonna have to make, uh, spacing around a completely different character. Whereas me Brawler in the last game, which kind of just throwing hands with you right up in your face, and uh, face wise gonna have to make a big adjustment to see what the the team gameplay is gonna be like. And Ford actually just showing up some pretty pretty solid character competency, like he. Definitely seems like a character he's comfortable with. And he's doing a lot better job of avoiding the Pikmin now, too. Uh, we're starting to see Dash in the shield quite a bit more often than to break the zone and try to get a little more pressure on Takar, because realistically, it seems like Takar resets neutral quite a bit, which is kind of dashing back and getting his Pikmin and throwing him. Oh my gosh, backer off stage, gonna seal it there. I didn't think that forward was close enough, but Takar had drifted so far in and just lost the stock for it. But yeah, just like that. Town and City, though, with the tall ceilings, that's not going to take the stock just yet. This will take it, though. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like, I was just saying, I mean, you learn, you teach yourself to dash, dash around and shield quite a bit. Because of the uh, the Pikmin being tossed at you and aerial pressure and even just smash attack pressure in, in general from Olimar. And it just opens up that high percent situation to make it so easy for Olimar to seal it out if he has that blue Pikmin. Ooh, okay. All hits of the side B actually being able to work out there, though. And Takar, once again, recovering high. It seems like one of his big habits is um, using armor to recover high. I mean, I mean, you can cancel the up B into an aerial, uh, which is really nice and an interesting mechanic that Olimar has. But at the same time, with a character like Lucina that can zone you out with uh, the sword, definitely can shut down the high recovery. And... Unfortunately, losing a stock by jumping out of the corner and getting hit by a Pikmin there. Ford's gonna have to make up quite a bit of traction here. Come back and already looking at 28% just from getting hit by these, this barrage of Pikmin. Yeah, this Pikmin management looking really good for Tar so far. And it just took so many hits just there to try to get that white Pikmin off that. Uh, Takar really hasn't touched Ford just yet, but we're already looking at almost 80%. Uh, it just seems like Lucina doesn't have too many moves that... Oh, wait, this is bad. Okay, he makes it out of the corner there. But it seems like Lucina doesn't have very many moves that will get the Pikmin off. Maybe up air might be one of the best options. And, yeah, a nice whiff punish there with the down smash, and Takar's going to be up 2-0 over Ford. And we're going to get another character swap. I think I heard Palutena. I guess just brawler has to just try and like steam. 
I think the card giving matchup <laughs> knowledge <laughs> mid set. <laughs> I respect it. We're here to learn, and this is Brown Robin Pool still, so. Gotta elevate everybody in this aspect. And the fortunate part of Waking Cake 2 is like. And I said fortunate, not unfortunate, is that uh, everyone gets to pretty much play each other. Like, it's it's very low likelihood that there's going to be more than, like, one person, one or two people. Um, one or two people out of, like, the ten that are here for Waking Cake that you don't get to play throughout the course of just friendlies before, friendlies after, the round robin pools, and the double elimination bracket. Uh, you get a lot of experience matchup-wise, especially. And we're going to go back to the Brawler for forward here in game three. All right, well, on into game three, and we're going to see if uh, Ford uh, takes the advice of Dakar mid-set, coaching him as to how to beat the Olimar matchup when it comes to um, just telling Ford, hey, like, stick to Brawler and just try to steamroll me, because uh, the advantage that Ford has been pressing in general has been looking really good, and, I mean, Dakar in general looks to dash back and reset neutral so he can continue sending those Pikmin at you, uh, and that's pretty much how he plays the neutral. Uh, kind of create that kind of distance zone. Looks like the camera is geeking out a little bit. I'll have to fix that in a second. But uh, now we're looking at a stock at advantage state here, and I mean I definitely respect it. Oh wow! Yeah, down tilt forward air, get, catching the grab. Oh yeah, miss input maybe. I'm not exactly sure, but kind of a weird flub there, unfortunately for forward and. They're looking strong though. He pulled up again. Oh, hard call out of landing there. Tikar landing once again with an aerial. Okay, landing neutral air. Oh, whistles through it though. That if Tikar dialed in to use that whistle to get out of those combos, it can definitely shut down some of the bigger like openings that we see from me, brother. Okay, down. Okay. Yeah, good shielding from Ford so far. We're not seeing too many grabs from Takara right now, uh, but I'm sure it's something he starts to vary in there. And oh, just a dash forward, forward smash to catch the neutral get up. And things not looking too far be behind for Takara to try to seal this up for a 3-0, but yeah, there it is, the grab once again. Alright, we're seeing if Ford can press his advantage. Oh, calls out the high recovery, and there it is for Ford. Game 3 going to him. 2-1. Uh, advantage for Takar still, but the Mii Brawler looking a lot better than Game 1. Mii Brawler versus Takar having sealed it out. Uh, and it looks like Hydro saying in chat that uh, Takar has the, the Mii Brawler experience from playing against him <laughs> before, I guess. But Yeah, Mii Brawler is kind of just sprouting here and there for some reason in the Western Washington scene. I don't know if we get to blame FTP for that or ESAM at this point, but uh, definitely showing up quite a bit more often. I think I've heard or seen of like four or five brawlers now that I've never heard of in like the last like two months or something now. So I mean the character is definitely growing. But alright, going to FD now. Uh, which, ground game-wise, is pretty strong for Takar being able to dash back, control the ground by just throwing out those Pikmin. There's not much space to escape to except for backwards. Uh, neither of you have been on stream, right? You're on the stream. You've been on once. Uh, you and, yeah, you'll play on stream after this. Yeah. Um, I'll look through this. And then uh, Wave and Cadillacs can play one of these two. Um, I was gonna put your first set on uh, in final bracket on stream, if that's cool. Otherwise, yeah, we can, 
We have time, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we are nearing the end of round robin pools, so... Uh, fortunately, we have... Wait a minute, I'm just trying to see this advantage state. Did Wolf Ford be able to seal out a stock even here? I mean, Olimar is light. Okay, but yeah, once again, Takar being able to pull out kind of an aggressive option from uh, either throwing a Pikmin or using an aerial out of the corner has been kind of his safe haven. It doesn't get punished too often, but like we're seeing there, calling out an aerial that high recovery. And Ford's starting to adapt to it quite a bit. Rapid Jab's going to do a little bit of damage here. And just this full ledge pressure, I think, has gone from 70 to losing the stock. And yeah, Takar getting a little bit frustrated here on FD, which I think is one of the stronger Olimar matchups, but or, or one of the stronger stages, and just not able to see the stock out. And Forge is doing such a good job of avoiding Olimar's kill options. It seems like really it's kind of come down to kind of the whip smash attacks or getting the grabs here, like Takar. Uh, it's so, like so proficiently done, essentially. Like once he's a high percent, he kind of just scours for those uh, shielding situations and get those grabs out. All right, landing back air though, and we're looking good, holding a full stock lead and having Olimar at 80% off stage two ledge trap situation. Okay, rising the is gonna send him right to the other side of stage, and we're back to ledge trapping essentially. Okay, no hard call out there, Olimar's light though, so I, sent, I think a couple kill options from Reballer could seal it out. Uh, yeah, just like we're seeing here, Ford trying to seal it out with an up smash. But yeah, Ford I think just kind of learned, having learned the, the Olimar zone, and has been avoiding the kill options very well, and yeah, Thrupper on catching landing, and that'll bring it to a game 5 situation. It's gonna be the second <laughs> Hello. And uh, Cadillac's gonna join me on um, commentary once again. Yeah. Or oh, her means with PT? Yeah. How, yeah, how did the Ditto go? Uh, he beat me in the first two Ditto games and I switched to Wario and won the next thing. Oh, okay, okay. So, but that's like, he was playing really well. Yeah, he was rolling in the PT Ditto. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, Hermes' advantage state is very solid. Like, he, he's just very quick to react and knows his options, but... He's quick to react and he's very good at, like, not committing early. Like, I can't get him to commit early by, like, pretending like I'm gonna do Oh, something like fainting at something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're just saying. Like, if he's underneath, like, a sword, he just keeps his feet until he gets a good, like, at the best chance instead of just the first chance. Oh, I see. Yeah, that does make sense. Really good. All right, so game five situation. Uh, Ford's new brawler working out for him once again. And Takar, having mentioned earlier, a little bit worried that this is gonna be the second time he gets reverse 3 0 Oh, the waking cake stream. But again, this is round robin pool, so nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Nice long set yeah, like this that we able to look back on. Alright, but I mean having having brought it back to Final destination. This is essentially a gentleman choice because we are in uh, MDSR, so technically speaking, Ford shouldn't be able to go back to the stage he recently won on. But uh, this was Stakar's choice to come back to the stage, and I think probably because it's like one of, or if it, or maybe the best stage that Alma has when it comes to the stage control, uh, forcing your opponent to like stick to the ground essentially, or being able to wait for their landings when it comes to using those Pikmin. And yeah, the grab is the the MVP move for Stakar. I would think Olimar won the platform. I think it was blue. Yeah. Even higher under platform control, <laughs> it's got to extend up smash into up air, right? Yeah, the extra little ladders. I'm interested to know why it's just like a lost projectile. I think it's the stage control, yeah. 
So there's like nowhere to run essentially, right? Like yeah, you have to deal like, with the barrage of Pikmin. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but like you were saying too, like uh, I think the the solo platform characters or, or, or stages for projectile characters like this too work super well because you can camp under the platform. No one can aerial very well through the. Oh, oh, sorry, we're not working out there. Uh, yeah, we have Bastion League. Yeah. <laughs> but G is a much more even game five though, and Picard kind of turning up the pace here. Oh, good tech Jade. No, the fuck. Oh, up smash once again. Picard doing such a good job to avoid those. Even though, I mean, Picard in the last few games especially has been doing like a lot of landing aerials right on top of board, but he's adapted quite a bit. Smash attack not going to take it just yet though. Yeah, that back air is gonna finally smooth out, but we're at that like concerning percent for Ford gonna get trapped in the shield when it comes to either you take some more damage from Pikmin or you shield and get grabbed by that blue Pikmin that we see is lined up here. Oh, it's claimed with the suplex though. Oh. Yeah, rising there with Brawler. Not really. Geez, huge advantage state here in game, game five. But I mean, uh, Ford does have a stock to deal with uh, or to work with, so no wonder he's kind of pushing hard advantage now, even with that hard call out with Trevor. And yeah, Nair into back air, and uh, Ford's gonna seal it out there in a game five situation. Uh, we are nearing the end of our um, round robin pools. We'll have two more sets on stream, I believe, and a little bit of a watch party because some other players have finished out their sets already. Oops. Yeah, you you'll play against. Uh, wave after the next stream on uh, next oh, uh, stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah, wave requ wave request. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll have you and Chips play off stream. Actually, we're gonna every set the rest of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Just so Gato can feel like he's here. <laughs> Yeah, I'll play Sam for him today. I'll even make my 